was good for his practice yesterday. Musa Diabate celebrating his 21st birthday. Part of his rookie duties are to sing happy birthday whenever there is one. Hence, he had to sing to himself. Uh, the team also had a box of cupcakes, a few boxes of cupcakes for Musa after practice. You know, I saw him sitting in the hotel lobby yesterday. I walked over to say hello and happy birthday. He was signing trading cards. He was sitting there for two and a half hours signing trading cards. I said, well, Musa, what are you going to do after this? It's your birthday, Saturday night in Dallas. He said, well, I've got to go out and buy snacks. That's also part of my rookie duties. No break from rookie responsibilities, even on your birthday. That's your ARCO Top Tier Play. Thank you, Jamie Maggio Burrows, reporting uh, 203 to play here in this first quarter. That, that's not a reference to a quarterback, <laughs> is it? I've cut her microphone off so she won't be able to chat with us. <laughs> they are up 14 nothing, by the way. Well, I can tell she's got the pom-poms out. George knocks down the second free throw. 203 to play here in this first half. Mavericks have outscored the Clippers 28 to 21 here in the frame. Lead by five. Dinwiddie out there. Doncic picked up his third foul a couple minutes ago. Misfires and Morris with a rebound for the Clippers. They can't close out this one with a little bit of momentum heading into the locker room. George picked up by Finney Smith, a noted defender out of the perimeter. The two rise and make it. George rises for the three. It is short and out of bounds. all the dribble handoffs the weave taking place by the Clippers and now and Ty Lue wants to get Reggie Jackson back in the game and take Paul George out probably because of the fact that Paul George has two personal fouls does not want him to pick up an extra one here with a minute and a half in the game the final 90 seconds Clippers down by five Dinwiddie line a whistle and he steps out runs out of real estate ball goes back to the Clippers here in a sluggish second quarter they haven't been able to take advantage of those non luka minutes Mavericks have outscored the Clippers by seven of the frame but 115 to play well, you saw Morris senior rotate across the baseline and that's what forced to step out of bounds Leonard drives it on Dinwiddie Gets to the rim, wants a whistle, not going to get it. Dinwiddie motors back the other way. Nice pass inside by Finney Smith. What ball movement for Dallas. And it leads to a wide open Hardaway Jr. for three. It's almost as if the crowd anticipates that the shot's going down. When they see the quick ball reversal that way, the guy's wide open. They're on their feet already. Under a minute to play here in the first half. Covington. Up top to Jackson, fields it low, shoots it high and connects. Reggie Jackson drops in the three, and the Clippers pull to within five. Robert Covington driving it, kicking it out. Dinwiddie, Ballerino's feet inside, can't get the shot to fall. Clippers can go two for one, although that window may have closed, but the very ambitious Reggie Jackson knocks down another three. Makes the head coach look pretty good, huh? You put him in the game, he knocks down two threes, one off the glass. Very enterprising young man. Clippers now down by two, closing with crescendo and a chance for one more shot, barring an offensive rebound. Dinwiddie very upset with himself that he's missed some easy shots around the rim. He's 6'5", remember. He retaliates six seconds to play here in his first half. Jackson... In a sea of flame and smoke, runs out of room and runs out of time. We go to break. Kawhi Leonard of the Clippers.